in this artificial intelligence class we will see the syntactic analysis that is passing from fourth unit natural language for communication so in today's class we will see what is passing and two approaches that is top down passing and bottom up passing and the drawbacks of these two passing technique after that we will move to dynamic programming under this we will see first the cyk algorithm and uh, the pen tree bank uh, for uh, part of speech and annotated tree for this uh, pen tree bank and uh, the em approach uh, for implementing all those things after that in dynamic programming we will see another algorithm that is inside outside algorithm so after that the second uh, one is uh, comparing context free and markov models so these are the topics we will see in today's class uh, syntactic analysis which is always called as parsing let us see what is meant by parsing parsing is the process of analyzing a string of words uh, to uncover parse structure according to the rule of grammar okay so a string of word as per our example uh, the string of word is wampus is dead and the rule is given okay so each and every step we have to apply these rules uh, to get this pass structure to check whether the given sentence is correct or not right so two approaches are there first one is top down passing and second one is bottom up passing so top down passing means uh, the passing starts from starting symbol yes right and this approach uh, starts from top to the leaf node in the leaf we are having the original words okay here we are having wampus is dead and each and every step the rule corresponding rule will be applied here okay so this is called as top down passing when come to bottom of passing the uh, bottom of passing starts with the words so that will start from here bottom of passing will start from here and the corresponding rule will be applied to each stage and finally we will reach the starting symbol if we reach the starting symbol then this particular sentence will be accepted okay so this is bottom of passing in both the passing top down and bottom then uh, these are inefficient okay sometimes it can end up repeating the effort in the area of search space okay repetition will be taken place continuously so that it will lead to dead end The drawback of top down passing and bottom of passing. Let us take these two sentences. Okay, here the first 10 words are common. See, have the student in section A of computer science 3, uh, that is third year. Up to this, these two sentences are common. Okay, and uh, only by seeing this particular word, that is take or taken, then only we can identify whether the statement the given sentence is statement or question okay the first one is command and second one is question okay suppose if we do left to right passing the algorithm uh, will confused whether the first given sentence is command or question okay until it reach the 11th uh, word that is take or taken okay so uh, once it wrongly identified then it has to backtrack from the first word so that uh, the time and space will get increased that is doubled isn't it so to avoid this inefficiency we will move to dynamic programming dynamic programming the advantage of dynamic programming is every time we analyze a substring stores the result so that we won't have to reanalyze it later that is the entire sentence will be divided into substring whenever we visit substring the result will be stored in a data structure uh, so that no need to reanalyze it another time okay so this is the advantage of dynamic programming for example the student in section a of computer science uh, 3 that is third year is an np that is noun phrase and record this result in a data structure called chart so this will be recorded into chart okay and this algorithm is called as chart parser 
right? Uh, when come to context-free grammar, there are many other uh, types of chat passes and the bottom of version is called as CYK algorithm. So, based on its inventor, uh, John Koke, Daniel Enger and Tedio Kasami. Uh, the name of algorithm called as CYK algorithm. Uh, the CYK algorithm. It is a bottom of passing algorithm for context free grammar. When come to CYK algorithm, it accepts only the no Chomsky normal form algorithm. Okay, this is a type of context free grammar. But when come to Chomsky normal form, uh, the starting symbol that generating a language that is S belongs to epsilon. Epsilon is nothing but a gram uh, language and a non terminal which generates two non terminals. Okay, S implies. Uh, a and B and a non-terminal can generate a terminal symbol that is S implies A. Okay, that is left hand side should be a non-terminal and right hand side two non-terminal two non-terminal or single terminal symbol. Okay, so this grammar is called as CNF grammar that is Chomsky normal form grammar and the CYK algorithm uses only the dynamic programming algorithm whether a string is in the language of grammar or not. Okay, that is used to, to check whether the given string is acceptable by the grammar of language or not. A given sequence of word, the CYK algorithm finds most probable derivation for the whole sequence and for each subsequence. Okay. The CYK algorithm. The CYK algorithm accepts two input values that is words under the grammar and it returns the P and table of probabilities that is P means an array of size M comma N comma N where N is nothing but length of words and M is nothing but the number of non terminals in the grammar. Okay, so this is the output of CYK algorithm CYK pass tree. Okay, so the output of CYK pass tree is a table followed by the probability of all the words, right? So this algorithm has two parts. First one is the lexical rules for each word and second one combine uh, the first and second part of right hand side of the rules. Okay, right hand side non-terminal will be there or otherwise a terminal will be there. So all those things will be combined from short to long okay short sentence to long sentences so these are two parts when come to first insert lexical rule for each word so for each word it insert the lexical rule so that it can find the type of word and the probability of all the words the probability value for all the words so this is the first part when come to second part see P of X comma start comma length. X is nothing but word. Given word in the sentences. Start is nothing but the starting symbol. And length means length of word. Length of word. Okay. See. That is here. Okay. That is equal to maximum of X comma start comma length. Okay. Comma. P of Y comma start comma length. P of Z comma start plus length 1 plus length 2 into p that means the right hand side short sentences will be combined together to form long sentences okay so that it will check whether the given sentence will be acceptable by the grammar of language or not and if the x value that is the word size is small based on the probability if the probability is zero, then the occurrence of this word is very less in the language. The CYK algorithm, it requires two parts. First one is lexical rule and second one is syntactic rule. Lexical rule means X which implies um, word that is one non-terminal. Non-terminal that gives a terminal symbol. This is called as lexical rule. Syntactic rule means non-terminal which gives two non-terminal two non-terminal are followed by a word a word so this is syntactic rule 
so this form is nothing but the chomsky normal form okay so this is a context free grammar that means any context free grammar can be automatically transformed into chomsky normal form then only we can apply this cyk algorithm for this particular grammar here the space complexity of cyk grammar is uh, order of n square m for the p table for generating p table and time complexity is order of n cube m okay here n is nothing but the number of words in a sentence and m is nothing but the number of non terminals in a grammar learning probabilities for uh, pc fgs that is probabilistic contact free grammar okay it has many rules with the probability for each rules and learning the grammar for data might be better than knowledge engineering approach okay learning grammar is very easy from the given data here for this learning uh, we can use the tree bank and the popular tree bank is pen tree bank okay which consists of 3 million words which uh, annotated with part of speech that is pos and parse tree structure okay both the things are there in pen tree bank here this diagram gives uh, the post tax set c48 tax sets are there and some example parse tree structure by using this pen tree bank okay three uh, tree structures are there you can pass this video and have a look an annotated tree from pen tree bank for the given sentence her eyes were glassed as if she did not hear or even see him from the pen tree bank so this is the uh, annotated tree for the given sentence so in this uh, annotated tree there is a difference between object noun phrase and subject noun phrase object noun phrase is simply represented by np np and subject noun phrase is represented by np spj cnp spj and the missing of object uh, is denoted by star minus 1 okay here noun phrase 2 are missing np star minus 2 two noun phrase are missing here two object noun phrase are sorry one object noun phrase is missing here okay that is represented by star star minus one the, from the above example there are two nodes in the form of uh, sf np etc followed by vp etc okay and we have to count to these and all the other subtrees with the root s yes. okay and if there are one lakh s nodes in which 60 are in the same form that is s followed by np followed by vp then uh, we can create a rule that is s implies np vp 0 0.60 that is this much probability of sentences will be like this form to learn the grammar two problems are there learning the probabilities associated with each rule okay the first one is learning probabilities associated with each rule from the lexical and syntactic categories of names this is the first one and the grammar includes every possible x implies yz or x implies a word rule okay this is the second one so these are two problems and if we follow this chomsky normal form normal form then most of the probability are zero or close to zero to overcome the problem we can use the em approach that is expectation maximization approach here the parameters to learn are the rule probabilities and the probability value may be random value or uniform value and the hidden variables are the past trees and we don't know whether the strings of given words the wi to wj are uh, generated by the rule or not generated by the rule we never worry about those two things 
and here the first step e step which estimates the probability of each subsequence and the m step is estimate the probability of each rule okay here each e step estimate the probability of subsequence m step estimate the probability of each rule the inside outside algorithm it is based on dynamic programming and it includes a grammar from unparsed text because of this is somewhat different and very popular in dynamic programming but it also has several drawbacks the first one is uh, the parse that is assigned by the grammar okay this is very difficult to understand and uh, it is very hard to combine knowledge with automated induction okay so knowledge with induction is very hard and it is very slow that is inside outside algorithm is very slow that is time complexity of this algorithm is order of n cube and m cube here n is nothing but the number of words and m is nothing but the grammar categories that is non terminal symbols of the grammar and when come to third one the space complexity is also very large that is the space for probability assignments is very large and it always struck with local maxima in several problem okay so the alternative to this inside outside algorithm is simulated annealing algorithm and it also get somewhat closer global maximum but for that the cost will be very high that is it requires more computations comparing context free and markov models uh, the problem in uh, the pcfgs that is probabilistic context free grammar is uh, there are context free this is the problem there that means the difference between the two sentences pf eat a banana and pf eat a bandana here it depends on only the objects the noun banana and the noun bandana but not the relation between the object that is eat okay so this is the problem when come to markov model uh, it accepts eat banana that means this only more probable that is more acceptable sentence when compared to eat bandana the another problem of uh, pcfg is uh, this grammar supports only for shorter sentences uh, some of the journals like wall street journal the average length of sentence is about to 25 words and most of the phrases in journal are not supported the context free grammar and those are really not the context free grammar instead here the writers uh, are expected a very lengthy sentence and it is hard to reflect in pcfgs so far we have seen the syntactic analysis from fourth unit natural language processing and uh, we have seen what is passing and the two approaches that is top down passing and bottom up passing and drawback of those two approaches after that we have seen the dynamic programming that is cyk algorithm and the inside outside algorithm after that we have seen the pen tree bank and uh, the annotated tree structure followed by pen tree bank and finally we have seen the comparison of context free and markov models in the next class we will see another important topic from fourth unit for more information please go through the textbook thank you